Hello, everybody. Hey, Ippy Beauty. How be things? Um, I want to talk about the nature of comedy. Yep. Okay. <laughs> right now? Yep. Because uh, oh, I was, uh, you know, YouTube shorts. I was yep. like scrolling through them like oh, an hour yeah. after you left last night. I do like them. Yeah. There's a very welcome addition. Yeah. Um, anyway, I saw uh, a clip from Modern Family. It must have been one of the later seasons that I didn't watch. Yep. Um, it's Cam and Mitch and... Uh, Hang on, am I actually using my truck now? I guess. Yeah, okay. It's Cam Which... and Mitch and Lily, mm -hmm. their daughter. She, God, she must be like 14 or 15 in yeah. the scene. So it's definitely one of the later seasons. Yeah. Um, and they're going to like a pool party. And Lily's upset because like she thought they'd be kids here, but it's not. It's all their friends. Oh, yeah. And then they actually get in there, and she's like, "Oh, this is all gay dudes. I'm basically invisible. This is fine." <laughs> <laughs> and like, one of the guests knocks her into the porch, like, "Ah!" goes in, and no one, not even like Cam and Mitch, react to it at all. <laughs> like she truly is invisible to them. I'm like, that's hilarious, right? Yeah. And then like, five minutes later, I scroll through a clip from The Simpsons. Yeah. And it's from that episode where Lisa gets the, like, not Barbie woman. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And it, uh, and it's Smithers' computer. When he opens <laughs> his computer, and it's that image of... <laughs> yeah. His, no, here's the thing. I... that When it comes up, and it's Mr. Burns, like, you're so good at turning me yeah. on. <laughs> like, you should probably ignore that. And I watched that, and I was like, this isn't funny at all. That wasn't funny at all to me. Really? And, like, I... I remember laughing, like, back in the day, yeah. I would laugh at that. Yeah. And I, um, like, I spent <laughs> possibly too long thinking about why the first thing was funny, the one family scene was funny, and the Sim Simpsons thing just isn't funny to me anymore. And I eventually came to the conclusion, and... Bug off! Again, yeah. like, both spent too long thinking about it, and also not that smart, so maybe wrong. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. um... The what happened in one family? It seemed like this is a funny thing, like about being gay. Whereas the Simpsons, the joke felt more like he's gay. Isn't that funny? Like that's how it came across to me, at least. Okay. Well, my thought process of that is now yeah. like you're watching human people go through it, so we can relate to it a bit more. Yeah. But yeah, look. That scene with um, Mr. Burns will always make me chuckle. Yeah. Because as a kid, I never used to get it, and then I realized, oh. Yeah. Like, Once you crack the code. Yeah, like, because I think with Cam and Mitch, they're openly gay, and yeah. like, and with Smithers, is more, it's a more of a like secret. Yeah. Well, it's not but really like, a secret. You know he's gay, but still. Yeah, it's but like, like in the he, universe, yeah. it's a secret that he's gay. Yeah. And it's like, he's gay, isn't that funny? Like, that, yeah. it just doesn't land with me. It's Also, more, it feels less realistic. Yeah, it's... it's like, it's the Cam and Mitch thing, I can see that. Yeah. Like, we have gay friends. Yeah. I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah. Like, it feels like um, Smithers is uncomfortable to admit he's gay. Yeah. Which makes it a little bit that, more sympathetic. Yeah. Like, that's less... That makes it less funny to me. Yeah. I credit the guy. I feel sorry for him so And he time. spent... Who, I guess, on an ancient computer like that, how long did it take to make that Mr. Burns thing? Yeah. Like, that's just sad. That's not yeah. funny to me. That's obsessive. Yeah. But whereas the modern family scene, where, like, Lily gets knocked at the pool and truly none of the gay men notice because they were, like, preening for each other. Yeah. I think they're a really good gay duo. Like, yeah. that's how you write gay people. It was people. a good show. Yeah. I love modern family. I go yeah. back to it every now and then. Um, my favorite character isn't that is Jay because I know he's Jay's funny. Yeah, because he's Al from. Yeah. Two, um, I was gonna say two and a half men. I know that's <laughs> fucking wrong. It's married <laughs> yeah, with it's children. Wrong. Um. Yeah. And uh, I do like. I think they were all sort of Ed O'Neill as an actor. I think there were some. I th I feel like um. The kids, weren't always utilized as much as they could mm -hmm. be, like they were used a lot. But especially, even in like, because like, I, I, I never finished the show, mm. but it's on the later seasons I watched, there are mm. scenes with like, Alex, mm -hmm. or, um, what's the other girl, Haley? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like, 
man, these girls are really funny. Yeah. Why aren't they, like, more prominent characters yeah. in the show? Well, it's a good thing about Mon Felon, because all of her um, characters gel and go together quite yeah. well. Like, Phil. I love watching Phil. Mm. As much as I love watching, um, Cam and, um... Yeah. What's Fuck, I forgot Mitch. his name already. Cam and Mitch, yeah. Cam and Mitch still have one of my favourite scenes ever. Yeah. Um, Cam's running off, and he's like, HANDS! <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, puts his hands right beside his... <laughs> yeah, okay. gay hands. He's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, put them down. <laughs> yeah. And like, he starts like running like a penguin. They're funny. Yeah. Eric Stone Street, that's the guy's name. That's his name, yeah. I haven't seen him in anything else. Might have, but like, I don't notice. I feel like I've seen him in like a minor role in something else. Mm -hmm. But I can't place it. I, mm. I feel like I have. I've definitely seen something, everyone else from it. Something set in the South. Yeah. I, I, I'm almost certain he was wearing a cowboy hat. Or someone in the scene was wearing a cowboy hat. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up. Uh, Eric... Stone Street. While you're doing this, I'm gonna upgrade the car. Mm -hmm. uh, the truck. Yeah. Uh, photography. Yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know how people win that. It's like, oh, it's a Ute. No, this is a truck. Yeah. Yeah. You're Australian. Identity thief. I think that's what I saw him in. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, it's a movie. Um, about identity thieves. Honestly, it's fairly forgettable. That's right. Um, it was fuck. What are their names? <laughs> the names escaped me. Uh, where is it? Identity thief. Uh, starring Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy. She, she steals his identity, and then like he loses a job uh. because of it, and then like he goes looking for her. It was fine. For forgettable. Yeah. A lot of the movies are like, oh, that was funny, and then you just move on with the You life. never think about it again. <laughs> yeah, you know. Now, this Easy. is why I want to get back to, like, loot boxes and stuff like that. Like, to get stuff that's inside the game that you need, no. Mm -hmm. Loot boxes should be only for vanity items only. Yeah. Like, microtransactions, you had to buy these mm. with microtransactions. But, it is not integral to the game. Oh, yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I also uh, respond to that, Cam. I will say there's some exceptions to it. Okay. As uh, in Disney Speedstorm, Whee! Um, you can, like... Oh. Well, Disney Speedstorm lets you microtransact. Whoa! Because, like, you have the racer, and you upgrade your racer. Yeah. And you upgrade them with parts, and you have to get those parts from somewhere. And you can get a lot of them from just, like, daily quests and yeah. shit like that. Yeah, good. But if you want to speed it up, you can, like, buy in-game currency and use that for loot boxes that include mm -hmm. upgrade parts. Or you can just spend that in-game currency directly on cosmetics. Yeah. If you want. Mm -hmm. And you And for the record, you get a lot of cosmetics from not spending any money. I have not put a single cent... I got, like, the Founders Pack thing that yeah. you did. Yeah. And that's all the money I've put into that game, and I've gotten a lot of cosmetics since then. Yeah. That is good. Yeah. Like, they, they, they do it well. Mm -hmm. You can get all of it if you want to put in the time. It's a free-to-play game with a pack they can buy. Yeah. It, it's not like, um... God, what was the Battlefield 2 thing? Oh. Where if you the... wanted to unlock everything without doing micro microtransactions, you have to spend, like... You had to grind. Eight, like eight, no, was, I think they added it up, and it's like something like eighteen thousand hours of the gameplay. Yeah. And like in game, mm -hmm. not like in menus and shit. Mm -hmm. And it was wild. Like cosmetics, loot boxes, fine. Yeah. It was something you can buy, and that's something you want. That's yeah. your own lookout. Yeah. That's sort of eight. But like, if jump. you, especially, because like. And in Speedstorm, no, yeah, I would yeah, allow yeah. it, because, like, I didn't have to buy the Founders Pack. You can just download the game and start playing. Yeah. So, fine, they're going to make money somehow. And but I, in, like, in Battlefield 2, you had to pay for that game. Like, it was what the a, hell is this car? It was a full premium game, and also they wanted all of your money from microtransactions. Yes. Like, you can't have both. No. You just can't. No. But, like, that's how I think Disney Speedstorm handled it quite well. Yeah. They balanced it well. Yeah. Unless you're EA. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Like, are you trying to deliberately piss people off now? Yeah. 
But yeah. Yeah, I like this, how it just says, yeah, you can get cosmetics and stuff like that, and if you want to buy an actual car, you can. Yeah. It's not integral to the storyline, but if you want that car, it's on sale, and you can buy a cos um, like, buy a loot box. Yep. Something that I've always wanted, I feel like maybe I've talked about this before, but it's at least been a while. Mm -hmm. Um, because I play a lot of Ubisoft games. Yeah. And, like, they have microtransaction options. Yeah. And they have their own sort of, like, reward system? Yeah, they? they do. And, like, you hit milestones in games, yeah. and, like, you can earn points, and you can use that to get rewards, or you can microtransact. Yeah. Um, I've always thought it would be a great idea if they had it where... Because every game, in-game, or at least I think all of them, has some sort of in-game currency, like that you can yeah. buy with real dollars and then spend on stuff in the game. Yeah. Whereas, I've like, Ubisoft felt... has this... No, thing. that's what Ubisoft has. Yeah. And, like, I mean, most of them do. Yeah. Well, I felt that, like, the Ubisoft family and, like, other game families should have is, like, in this game, you spend $10, you get $100,000 to spend on cars. Yeah. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you spend $10, you get 100 of the opals that you use to buy cosmetics yeah. and shit. I've always felt like you should just spend $10 in the Ubisoft thing, yeah. and you get $10 worth of in-game currency for every game. Yeah. Because... It would be points. And, no, and like, the the idea for that, like, from a business perspective, they're like, oh, but then people will spend less money in each game. Yeah, but also it would be like, well, are you going to get the new Ubisoft game? Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to, yeah. but I've bought $50 worth of points in it already. Yeah. So I've already sunk money into this game, mm -hmm. why not get the game? Yeah. Were well, you thinking of like putting like Ubisoft points where you can actually buy the games as well? Have you got enough of them? Uh no, no. I'm just for in game currency. Okay. Because like the idea of it is I spend I'm really enjoying Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah. I spend twenty bucks on things I can spend on stuff in there. I don't play this game, but if I did get it. I'd have twenty dollars worth of microtransactions yeah. to spend on whatever I want inside it. Like it's gonna be annoying if you like want to spend money but you only want one thing and yeah. it's like really cheap. Whereas if um, the UB points when you earn them they do spread throughout everything. Yeah, that, that, Whereas, that's what I want. Yeah, yeah, it's the same amount for every game. Because in the first crew there was an option to buy a Dodge Viper concept car. And it happened to be one of the best racing cars you could get, but it wasn't like the best best. Yeah. It was a decent chunk above the rest, and you could like literally just buy that off the sh yeah. um off the front and just have it in your inventory. Yeah. So that's why I did. So I just got a Viper, and yeah, I could just use that from the get go. Yeah. I also had some like cosmetics, like a splash page and yeah. stuff like that. And in like this idea that I have, mm -hmm. you could have had that from the get go. From spending money in a different game, yeah. so it inspires you to buy all the Ubisoft games. Yeah. And like, you want to buy more? Oh well, I'm just loving Far Cry Six. I'll sink another ten dollars. Now I've got it in all the Ubisoft games and all the ones that are gonna come yeah. out. So I might as well buy them too. I had um, Wildlands, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah. And literally one of the com cosmetics. It was really cheap. It was literally you just have your character smoking a cigar. Huh. And I actually look quite cool, so I just bought it. Yeah. I was like, eh, it's my own money. It's my own stupid fault for buying it. There you yep. go. Now, if you're going to say, oh, you need that cigar for this one mission, and you have to buy it. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's just... Gosh. I'm so far behind. You are. This car sucks. Yeah. Might have to win some money and get the Corvette. Mm. Do you have to use this car in this race? Well, it's um, the one it gives you, and it's the American touring thing, and it's the only American race car I have. Ah, uh, that's why. Playlist. Cool bit of bubble. Mm-hmm. I do like having the playlist, because it gives you some sort of direction you can think of. Yeah. Well, this is for and, nothing, um, but I'll still get points and shit on it. This was yesterday, so I've already kind of forgotten, but like when you complete a playlist, you get shit, right? Yeah. yeah. It's usually a car. Last night I was playing and I got a plane and a boat. Hmm. I can speed up. Yeah. Are there a lot of boat and plane stuff to do? Yeah. Okay. Like a lot of the plane stuff is like sighting and shit like that. Mm. It's quite mm. neat. Now, oh, well. have to do that one again. 
dead last. Whip, 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 whip. <sighs> whip, 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 whip. I wonder if there's any American race car. Because I know there's some that are a lot cheaper. <laughs> Would it be worse if it has, does one of those things the games do sometimes? Like, well, this is the option you picked the first time you played this. This is the only one you can use now. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> that, that, that's a thing game. I don't think games do that anymore. It's a bit of a dick move. Of the day. Used to. So yeah, like this is like vehicle vanities. Yeah. I get the um. Yeah. I'll go into it. The crew credit packs. And this is the crew credit packs, and that's in blue. Yeah. So it doesn't take as much as the money, but you do have to pay actual money to get them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And then that's when you get the vehicle vanities, and this is what that is. Mm. So you get like the smoke when you do burnouts. Smoke when you do NOS. Mm. Oh, hang on. I feel like um. Because there are some things you can only buy with this money, right? Yeah. 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 Neon Trail. See, uh... But it's all business, just cosmetic. Not a business exec, but I would honestly just make... When you buy, when you spend money yeah. on the game, you just get... Like, it's just one currency and you just get lots of it. And the awesome cosmetic stuff just costs a fortune. Yeah. I and think it does have, like, rare... Legendary and yeah. stuff like that. They rank them. It's a Ubisoft yeah. game. They do that in all the games. Yeah. So how much is a Vipir? That was the um, concept guy you got in the first game. 30 grand short. Yeah. Um, you have to go through American race cars, so go Kadaliak. Nope. Chevrolet. Eh, it's a bit cheaper. Just shy. Still short. Uh -huh. It'd be Sounds nice if there was a what can I afford button. Pretty sure. The fuck? Ah. It knows that. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. I'm pretty sure there is a thing you can actually choose. I'm sure of it. Filters. Sort by price. Style. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No. Country. Owned. Not owned. Type. Car. Category. Oh, there we go. Racing. Sweet. No. And it has to be American, so. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that was a whole thing there. Down. Uh, I, I, I said it. I said country. Yeah. From the USA. Sweet. USA. USA. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah, just. You can just afford it. Mmm, that does look nice. And after that, you have enough for one tank of gas. The saline, that was the one I had. Saline. Yeah, I just call it saline for the shits and giggles. That's do I want the Chevrolet? I think what you want is one you can actually afford. Or I could just spend points on it. I mean, sure, but... No, I can't afford that. I can't afford that. Yeah, right? <laughs> Do I get the general? I mean, that looks nice to me. This one. Mm-hmm. And it's just in your price range. Patches. Patches. Oh, that horrible fucking puke green color. I don't like orange. Ugh. Oh. Nathan. Olive drab. Yeah. Top. I was gonna say sand. Um I, I I feel like the red is the most classic. But the blue's nice too. And we've been bought. And sold. By our corporate overlords. To Zambia. What? Uh, it's pronounced the Mubit of you. Those are Millitude? Sabba Flabber who? Uh, but, but, but what am I going into? Oh no, I have to go out of it, don't I? Then back in. That's the one flaw this game has. Upgrade. And take everything off. 
and apply. I'm gonna put my rims on first. My zub zub. Hello. Short part. Gonna keep the rhymes. So at the factory, it let you pick from like three colors. Yeah. And yeah, but if you buy it and then customize, you can have like a thousand. Yeah. So that doesn't feel like <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> it does. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. I'll go with red for now. So then we can upgrade. Red. Don't let this be a financial mistake. Finances. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Here we go again. Well, we'll have to do it next time. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie, see you. Goodbye.